Today's video I will dedicate to what I found on American Yahoo USA Green Card Lottery. Okay, the early registration is open. Now the news already is gone. I don't see it anymore. It actually was on a British one. There you go. Man jailed for record 50 years for insulting Thai monarchy. This was one of the headlines. Ah, damn it. No. Well, what can I say? This is a world of queens and kings. And this world is as bizarre and as insane as anything can possibly be in this world. This is a world of Alice of Wonderland, sheer lunacy, organized crime. Indifferent was the case from this individual here who was just sentenced to 50 years for insulting Thai monarchy. And for what? Thailandese royals hoped for that I would take his side against the royal monarchy. Uh, they sure hoped that I would go after them and uh, start to support him. And how the thing is that it was indifferent with this lady here, Yinglung Shinavatra. And it was indifferent with, to put it, like in a lot of box to summarize the whole thing. Uh, with this thing here. A mass resignation by opposition MPs left her no other choice. I'd like to notify everyone, after listening to opinions from all sides, that I've decided to request a royal decree to dissolve Parliament this year in 2013. But Hin Lakshinawat's call for a snap election didn't achieve... The this was in 2013. In the 2013, the high psychiatric hospitalizations for which Thailandese king Maha Bayana Korn and his Father Bumibol suggested they had to clean it up the mess. I was around for way too long, uh, and that basically meant only one thing. Uh, me behind the walls of psychiatric institution. If you ever wondered how much Thailandese monarchy had to do with my psychiatric, uh, throw me behind the walls of psychiatric institution. <clears throat> no less than this much. I don't think they could possibly give more support to uh, Slovenian police to get me destroyed. Um, they did all they possibly can or could to get me killed. Indifferent was with the British monarchs uh, who literally financed, they financially supported this killing. I don't know whether to thank them or... Yeah, I am. Actually, in the form of this video, I am thanking them not excusing them from the persecution, but 
I will launch persecution against you. There is no doubt about my words. You can take me for granted what I stated to you right now. Uh, you Thailandese monarchs were also behind this website here. Not only behind a coup d'etat that went on, commenced in 2013 through the agent. I don't have to bother with this issue here. Uh, hijacked to Thailand, she stated me she would do the coup d'etat for me. Well, the thing is that I think since, um, I don't know when, uh, Thailand had in the last 100 years already like 12 coup d'etats. And the one that does coup d'etat in Thailand is always a royal family. Because they do the cleansing, basically. They, they incite people in hatred. And then what they do is they destroy people, their families, whatever it is that start to see it the way usually Thailandese royals tutor them, teach them to see uh, so that the country is again clean and it's a new fresh start that starts. Um, well, the King uh, Bumibol departed in 2016, so this is like a last gift for his son, Maha Bayerlingankorn, you know, uh, that's what they do when they plan on transferring power, they orchestrate something like this so that it would not fall on the hands of the man here who ran the whole coup d'etat in Thailand in 2014. For those that don't know, in 2014 was a bloody coup d'etat on Thailand. Over 90 people were killed during this coup d'etat. The desired effect. The leader of the anti-government movement, Sutap Tioksaban, said dissolving parliament wasn't enough. He has proposed replacing the regime with an unelected people's council. The ruling party won the last vote by a landslide whilst the opposition Democrats have not won an election in more than two decades. The country has been rocked by weeks of clashes, which have left several dead and hundreds injured. According to Thai law, so the vote will have to be held within 60 days. Basically what, uh, what this cleansing game turned to, it turned into a lot of dead people. Uh, they are writing about this law here, it's called uh, Majeste. It's um, Thailand Laisse Majeste Law. <laughs> this is the law that is in Thailand to protect the royals from being, in a parenthesis, insulted. I firmly do not believe in this kind of law anymore because I tested on my own skin violence, torture, basically. I was tortured severely in Thailand and I know that you can make people state things that never otherwise would a through the intense physical torture i alone was subjected to and b by killing their relatives by causing them lose jobs keep them jobless etc 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 there are unlimited ways to make people toxically hateful angry it's not a it's not a it's not an art it's just a wonder 
for the people that do not hate. And it's no wonder most of the time the people that are exposed to this type of whatever you want to say this, I call it extermination procedure. I call this the most modernized extermination, the most efficient and modernized extermination procedure in a so-called democracies. This stuff came from Thailand, from Slovenia, which became even European Union member state, and even from United States of America. But basically, Western world, Germany was implicated in this more than anybody. Germany does not have any kingdom. Britain was the closest ally of this type of uh, criminal conduct, murderous conduct, extermination, extermination, genocide conduct. But my words don't matter to these leaders. They don't give a fuck about what they hear. They don't care. They simply do not care about any of it because they have their agenda going on and the big game is on. Eastern Russian British company already was established 20 years ago. When we crossed Yakutsk region, It's not even Yakut, that's actually Novosibirsk. British learn first thing, once they get there, are going to open the river transport all the way to Novosibirsk. The prime interest to the British royals was to learn geographically and get a hands-on experience through the traveling as I traveled with them not only with the documentary makers but also with them on how to properly run Siberia under the British flag we have a little uh, Adolf Hitler's here in the game I see we have a we have a different game they geared up into the World War III They are now moving fast. Whatever I state, whatever you hear me saying, doesn't matter to them anymore because it's past them. We were here. What amazed me was they were interested in what rather I saw as primitive ways of certain transport like using vehicles like custom little built by Soviet Union little uh, like like a little tank uh, but it's made for civilians to cross into Siberia into greatly inhabited areas um, have proven itself extremely efficient due to its size based on experience basically developed based on based on uh, you know experience hands-on dimensions wise is what matters the most matter the most to British royals
so that once they would get there, it looked something like this. This kind of stuff. Not precisely this. It had a those kind of issues that can not like this it was it's like it's like a little tank actually really it's like a little tank and it was just designed according to the landscape according to um according to the forest according to the type of trees according to uh to the rocks according to uh according to the swampy area uh, to have proven itself most efficient for the type of the terrain. It's those kind of things that were of their interest. And how the Russians were doing the transport and what they are going to do in the future once they take over Russia. They're not interested in my words anymore. They're now interested in upshifts. They're now upgrading it they're now upshifting it they're going to the next gear they're going now to the next level and on this level it seems to me there is no place for the people like myself i had never done anything to thailand uh, i never was involved in any political affiliation with any political party that had affiliation to any political affairs in Thailand other than with the royals, whom I have supported. I supported the royals. I used to support the royals. I used to support royals, but, you know, uh, supporters in this world exist. Supporters in this world exist so that can be subjected to the most efficient extermination methods it's used if i would translate to america english a hate law you know thailand is let's say majeste law you can go out and hurt thailand and you can behave either way you want you can do stuff whatever you want but don't say anything against king don't say anything against monarchy. If you go and you rob the bank, you have not committed a crime as big as uh, if you state something against uh, Thailandese royals, in that sense. They run the country. It's called like a hate law, like you would be in the US and you would use language against uh, let's say African American people or Jews or um, any minority for that matter that would file efficient complaint against, and I would say rightfully so. I do support that law to a certain degree, but I do not support one when the so called political prisoners as they refer to us, you know, political prisoners are literally being made out of the people that eventually are, at one point at least, they served, or I should say even the people that at one point in time have even served the interests of the royals, believing that it would be best for the country to exist under given oldest most traditional um, maybe even a way of ruling governing whatever uh, I never saw really royals as dictators I always opposed to dictatorships I did not like dictatorships unless dictatorship was 
a productive dictatorship, like if it was economically convenient for the people, um, I supported one. If I saw the country is making a progress and is doing really well with the countries around one failing apart, then I eventually did support it the type of governing also as dictatorship. If the country was poor and it needed this type of governing so they would not be swallowed by uh, anarchists, I'm going to say, then I did support this type of governing. I figure out, and I'm telling you folks, that today's world is facing enormous amount of turmoil living through a fractions that participate in political systems and have the ability to disseminate negative atmosphere in the country on behalf of foreign intelligence agencies such as the Central Intelligence Agency or in Russia uh, we could say maybe KGB now known as FSB etc etc MI5 in Britain MI6 and so on uh, those are really dangerous fractions so if you have in a country an option that holds firm grip on a situation uh, and is somewhere in the center of it and is ensuring that there would be no foreign influence which would exceed atmosphere in the country into causing uh, internal turmoil uh, for the sake of problems, unrest, therefore economic economic collapse. Uh, and if the country is heading forward with a certain speed that is a sufficient speed that is giving, that is competitive, that is giving a sense of uh, com competi compet competitivity with the rest of the world, with the countries that actually are heading forward, uh, you know, that's, that shouldn't be a problem, in my opinion. That really shouldn't be a problem, in my opinion. Uh, Thailand uh, holds this grip in a very, very barbaric way uh, through utterly murdering people on behalf of foreign governments through the use of uh, laws which are designed to incarcerate, to murder people uh, through what in the United States of America would be even seen comparable to as some sort of affirmative action. But just that affirmative action, I agree with it. I don't have a problem with it. Uh, with Thailandese Le Saint Majesté law, I no longer agree with it. I used to agree and I used to support one, but I learned that the laws that are being used to literally exterminate people, even foreigners, foreign people who never crossed to Thailand. I never visited Thailand ever in my lifetime. One time I have not visited Thailand in my entire lifetime. Every time, whenever I was hijacked to Thailand, simply I was abducted, hijacked by Slovenian police, by Central Intelligence Agency, by British MI5, by the German intelligence, by whoever ran whatever country, the Russian KGB, FSB, and so on. I never went to Thailand on my own. And what scares me about the Thailand is, this is an extremely dangerous country. What scares me about the Thailand is, not, not really this case here of what you see here. As you see, it's completely evident that, you know, for whatever reason that, that she might say, 
Turns out the only one that uh, discovered Serbia list of the countries in terms of literally visited. I don't care about it. Uh, she lives in an exile and once she have taken over the government in Thailand, she have did absolutely everything possible for the people that rejected Thai monarchy for one to fail. And she disappeared to a Britain, great the Great Britain. Who would have thought about that, right? Because how the hell could that be? I mean, right? I mean, you you are you go to the exile to the Britain, you oppose you oppose monarchs in Thailand, and you immigrate to Britain, right? That 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 does make sense to you. I mean, well, wouldn't you be afraid to go to Britain? It's like a center of the monarchism in this world. It's like a one eight hundred London cabal, as I stated to you many times on my blog. It's like a hotline for organized crime in Western world, basically monarchy. Monarchy is monarchs. It's a toll-free number, 1-800-247. It's open all the time. They always answer whatever call is needed to be answered. If this lady was a threat to a monarch in Thailand, she would not only be expedited back to Thailand, she would be killed within not 24 hours, within minutes. This is just a fact. She holds also what is a Serbian citizenship, which is a bit uh, insane, since uh, she told me she's going to organize government in Thailand when it all started for me which is that's crazy a mass resignation by opposition MPs left her no other choice I'd like to notify everyone after listening to opinions from all sides that I've decided to request a royal decree to dissolve Parliament this year in 2013. But um, she had to go to, to the Serbia to protect herself. Um, I mean, this was like a major, 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 that's what she claimed, uh, my major supporter. So there was like no other country than Serbia and Britain to, to immigrate to to save yourself from basically she had nothing to run from really because she had not committed any crime other than well she definitely screwed up her supporters there's no doubt about that that we haven't heard from the lady since uh, we haven't heard from her much at all and um uh, the coup d'etat, which was literally ran by the Thailandese king, Mahavairalinga Korn, this is a son of Bumibol Adulyade. Maha Vairalinga Korn, expert military soldier, career soldier, he ran the coup from behind, he coordinated the whole thing. And let me tell you, when the coup d'etat took place, he incited me, he destined me, he uh, he dared me. He stated to me, it's you and I, we're going to have a war. 
you're going to be running the majority. The majority of the people were the people that opposed monarchy and wanted to end one with. They wanted to get it done with it. And he said, I'm going to run my fraction, the yellow shirts. And so it was. The red against the yellow shirts. How I found myself in red, you have to ask him. Uh, he was using his soldiers to act toward me in extremely disrespectful way, derogatory, violence during the coup d'etat, Slovenian police hijacked me to Thailand. And it was also during this coup d'etat that this individual who is presenting himself through the Thailandese Lesse Majeste Law, which I told you is a, it's well, somewhat equivalent to affirmative action in the United States of America. Subject with me during the coup d'etat led to mistreatment by his soldiers, by his military men he guided, ran from the background. So yes, 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 yeah. This news here sure made uh, sure made uh, impact on me today, but it's going to make a bigger impact on you once I meet you at the court. Once I get you to the court, and I'm going to uh, have you answer the questions. In respect to the coup d'etat you orchestrated in 2014, during which you have engaged in a physical torture also by your military men. Obviously demanded from me, for me to see myself in just one more. This guy participated, this man here participated with his shirts. He was just handed 50 years prison sentence. Upgraded, what, from 30 years or what? It doesn't matter. Upgraded from 28 years up to 50 years. And voila, this is what I should see myself in. And this is basically how we're going to run the world. This is at least what uh, these guys here think the world is like. A banana like this. United States bananas. But I'm not keen to that. I'm not, I'm not too much interested in, you know, the world is a much bigger place than uh, just the one, one 800 London cabal, you know, grab him and throw him into the psychiatric hospital so we can redistribute him through, around the world and write our own history, video record ourselves and do that stuff the way it fits us, basically, our history, right? Well, I'm not going to go quiet into the dark. I'm not silent. I'm outspoken. And uh, these are going to be just extra charges that I'm going to deliver against you for literally using me even to get people murdered. Now I'm talking about the Thailandese people. So I'm accusing today the Thai king Maha Bairanga Korn and his daughter, Bairakiti Abba, his daughter, Sari Saravana Sara, <laughs> Surivanevari. Siri Vanavari. To have uh, attempted yet again to steer me in uh, a 
in a very wrong direction for this news here was used by Thai King literally threatened me on what he's gonna do with me on what they're gonna do with me and so on and this and that well I think a Thai King should consent his daughter by Rikiti Yaba a little bit in respect to the international laws so that he would become more like understandable understanding about a little bit about the laws I mean the you know the thing is that as an army man uh, he might not completely understand how the international rule of law functions but he does not believe in international law he does not understand does not believe the rule of law international rule of law he is into hijacking abductions it became evident to me also killing for what he was using me for even and uh, I don't have much to talk to you pal about in this lifetime this one here is affiliated to this issue here it's called political prisoners of Thailand and I would also warn World Health Organization and United Nations I would also like to warn you the not equal political prisoners of this world with heavily controlled issues concerning political prisoners in Thailand because you just go one plus one her sites whether that be on Facebook or whether that be whatever that be they always related to political prisoners it's all about the political prisoners and she suggested me is praying for me I'm being a political prisoner and so on I'm not being a political prisoner first of all the prisoners are the people when it comes to the political prisoners the prison the political prisoners are the people who choose to do so and what she was trying to do with her father and her grandfather and sister and everybody else and that's why I'm warning you World Health Organization to take steps against this monarchy best you can protecting the people lives of people innocent lives of people also people of Thailand yes attempting to equal people who are on extermination list due to their ethnicity such as is mine here in Slovenia this is a question of the ethnic cleansing like you see in Ukraine this is a question of extermination for the sake of certain ethnicity do not fucking equal me with laissez majesté controlled opposition from Thailand please do not fucking equal me to that I am a different kind of prisoner and I refuse to be a prisoner in my own country in my own world to see myself as a prisoner as somebody who would again run from abroad as this Thailandese and British and Germans made me even run to the United States of America where they again destroy me my citizenship I acquired in the US so they could appease Putin, so they could appease Serbs, Moscow and Belgrade, and more than anybody, Ljubljana, so they could excuse mindless violence against me, to which they demanded from me to refer, from me to refer myself to as the highest profile of the MKR case. 
What fucking highest profile? What the fuck I have out of your fucking profile? I am 52 and I still had no life. And these people are posing with some kind of, they're trashing basically the internet. They're trashing the internet here with somebody who is actually from this controlled opposition here from Thailand. Is trash like that, that it's like political prisoners like they exist everywhere they don't fucking exist everywhere it's different kind of political prisoners it's different kind of politicians major ally of the Serbia was a Thai monarchy since from forever Miss Yingluk Shinavatra did not invent Serbia. And if I was to run from monarchism, I would not be running to greater than Great Britain. That's one thing I'm going to tell you for sure. Yes, the, she video recorded herself or whatever statement she wanted to produce from me and so on. I'm going to close this video. I'm going to end this video. With a paragraph about who are we about us. And just as I was told, I'm going to do this by I must state this by the Slovenian police officers who presented me this website on behalf of King Maha Viral Corn. That's basically Thailandese monarchs where Slovenian police would hijack me, mistreat me, torture me like an animal in Thailand. by highlighting in what is even red we are totally independent group we have absolutely no financial or other support from anyone in, or any organization and we derive no income from this blog because this is this blog includes material that is banned in thailand we choose to remain anonymous we are also limiting posting to English or English Thai as we believe that this is one way to raise international profile of the issues. Really? Wow. I had no fucking idea about what is this anonymous. It's like anybody, any of you, have you heard about browsers that guarantees you anonymity on the internet? It was discovered there is no such browser there's no such internet connection. There's no way that you can be anonymous on the internet. Unless you're really a wizard and you're using, I don't know, uh, other people's internet and you're using some kind of computer that is not registered with operating system and browsers and everything that nobody would know. You know, the thing is they, 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 they fucking position you. The governments trace these things. They have cameras. They have all kinds of stuff. They know pretty much where you're located at. They pinpoint you. They give you the fucking coordinates, like on a map. Where you are located, where you are based out of. If you have a blog, that you're running blog, and you're running one anonymously, um... That is the, the thing impossible. Not only because they definitely would uh, uncover you and because you're much safer by your uh, revealing your name so that in case they get you killed, uh, people at least become aware. You leave the trace behind. 
I don't know for anything more stupid than being politically involved and anonymous. I don't know anything about more stupid than that. The only one that is anonymous are ideolo ideologically, ideologically ran by Central Intelligence Agency agents that pose online as anonymous, such as was Julian Assange, and the list go on and 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 on. As for anybody else that could afford itself in this world where they prefer you to be anonymous, they prefer you, any fraction, political fraction that is out there prefers for you to be anonymous. So at their earliest convenience, they can get you killed. Nobody will even know why. Now, isn't it factual what I stated here? The biggest stupidity, the paranoia of the Facebook, and the Facebook is Central Intelligence Agency book, is inciting people into... Uh, Anonymous, being anonymous, they're going to find your details, they're going to, you post the picture, and they're using all kinds of programs to profile you, I don't know what kind of do, then they find out everything about you, and so on, and it's this and that, ah, they do that, they do that, but if you take the job, and one requires uh, cameras in your face, like I had the job, let's say, at Penitentiary Hospital in Miami, where I worked. You either, many jobs, you either decide you're not going to be on a camera and therefore you're not going to have a job. Uh, or, um, I mean, you know what I mean? The laws exist out there to protect you not for you to hide yourself the one who wants you to hide yourself and very soon look like a cockroach as you yourself are becoming a legitimate criminal even when you are hiding when you're posting messages if you're doing this kind of stuff those are the political systems against whom you post whatever messages. The most successful political systems in this world these days, it used to be different, but times changed. Tide changed. Are the political parties that collect more than other political parties a hateful messages? Why? Because it gives the system the broader ability to control the population. No problems means for the government the biggest problem. If you remember how I started this video, I was a major supporter of the royals. And as such, I also presented a problem. I presented enormous liability because of the financial means they insisted on I would receive for performing work for them. And it finally did absolutely everything possible to get me to wipe me off. The Thai coup d'etat in Thailand was enforced in 2014. Military coup. You are not right here, you know. My, my. Yeah, I was here. Uh, it was jungle, and I'm gonna tell you, these soldiers did not want me anywhere. Anywhere in this side, they kicked me and they pushed me out to the group of people.
They didn't want me anyway. Two days ago, the army announced. At first, they were happy that I supported them. Martial law. But they became unhappy. Law across all of Thailand. Having the anywhere near me. Included leaders from both sides. The army's heavy hand is allowed to break down You can ask them, for instance. It's not clear what the coup means for the PDRC. To report to them this morning, the last time the army called for a meeting, which was yesterday, it resulted in the arrest of all the ten. So we've seen smaller anti-coup protests earlier today, but nothing of this. Our bans on the gathering of more than five people in public places and any speech that criticizes the coup d'etat or the army. Tonight, a group of a couple hundred people defied those bans and took to one of Bangkok's busiest intersections to voice their anger at the army and demand election. So we've just heard a rumor that the army has set a time limit for the anti coup protest. This place for this place. I'm going to tell you, they had cameras set up. And everybody who was doing this stuff, they were just getting the names down. And so we The anti government PDRC was spared the army's heavy hand and allowed to. For this issue, I was presented eventually that they had monarchists on the. Uh, on this uh, on these boards, they insisted me there were monarchists on the boards. Anti-government PDRC was spared the army's heavy hand and allowed to break down their own site on their own terms. <laughs> Monarchs, uh, even if those are not monarchists on that you have seen do that kind of stuff just as they do this kind of stuff it's it's uh, it's related to one another what i pointed you out is out of knowledge What you could make most likely conclusion based on or by just basically the lady who ran the opposition and ran from uh, Thailand due to coup d'etat and so on, you know. So don't don't just don't just go and the facts that I pointed you out. Read this stuff. Go over. Watch these movies and so on. Um. I have no fucking clue in respect to this fraction of the video here. During MK Ultra, when I was drugged up in hands of monarchists, which was characteristic for the Thai monarchy, was a disinformation. It was always to keep me clueless. And they always wrapped absolutely everything in lies to so whatever statement I would make on the internet, it would be self incrementing, it would damage, it would discredit me. So these are obviously this is opposition, obviously the one who was more aggressive 
really aggressive in this case, really wore yellow shirts. That's basically pro-monarchist rule. No, don't get me wrong. I uh, do not oppose monarchists of Thailand. No, 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 no. This is not the way it works with me. I don't even oppose British royals in Britain. I don't oppose to that. You are going to get a major misconception about me if you have idea that uh, I have just enlisted myself into anti-monarchist movement or something like that. That's wrong. I never did. I never will. After all, contrary to these people here, I do believe in a rule of law. I do believe in non-anonymity. I do believe in taking, in taking action, swift action, through the court of law, through United Nations. I believe to address people who have names, just like myself at the United Nations and other organizations, demand feedback from them and redistribute this feedback of the certain individuals on how they do and how it all functions together with police, how we are getting here killed, how we are getting here butchered, so they can get ahead. I believe in a rule of law, because I know there are governments out there that can have much greater impact on the whole picture than I do. And by giving them my information about, based on my case, they can then make educated decisions in which direction to move. I'm not an anti-monarchist. This is an issue, a private issue of the British people, people of greater than Great Britain, and in case of Thailand, people of Thailand. I'm not enlisting myself today into any kind of political fraction or no fraction or whatever. I am only interested in a rule of law. This here would have been more convincing if next to these people, you would state the type of offenses these people have committed. And even more it would be if you would manage to record, like I did in my case, what went on, how it all developed into what, you, what we see here and this and that. Now, I personally have witnessed, uh, just like as was the case with this journalist here, who also participated during my being hijacked to Thailand during the coup d'etat where I would stay many, many days so that the journalists could ransack certain locations, have access to certain locations. I told you this is what I was used for by United Nations, by the Human Rights Watch, by foreign governments, um, and based of which Feedback was also then I was brainwashed with, given, repeated back to me. Um, all I'm saying is, Thailandese military mistreated me, tortured me, refused to accept me on their side pushed me away. Yeah, there was maybe they dropped all some individuals here that I have to mention. I am going to mention this. Yeah, no, right I, am, I am, I am, I am, uh, like the guy that is kissing the gun. That guy was actually accepting. He did not have a uh, he did not have anything against me. The other supporters. This guy here that you see. Uh, this is already another clip. You are no right here, you know. This guy here, that first they accepted me, just like the case was with the military, 
uh, once the Thai king, the Thai royals became, uh, they learned about that I support a, a military in this case, uh, a law and order. That's how I saw it during MK Ultra. Uh, they turned against me. They started to. They, they did everything possible uh, to get me on the other side. And the armies made no indication of what they'll do next. This guy here uh, was one of the people that would not uh, turn against me. I'm going to say to you like this. It appears as though the PDRC's days have now been numbered and their organization disbanded. No, I had no idea really what went on. In my head, what went on was... Surely was I had an idea that it was bandits that are trying to take over the country and it will be the end of the Thailand. When I was hijacked and delivered to Thailand, this is basically the way I saw it. And I saw this military man is the only man out there uh, willing to stand up and to basically defend Thai monarchy. Is that fucking insane or is that fucking not insane? So I supported them. Till the Thailandese royals learned that I supported them, then they had to distance themselves from me and literally point guns at me. So, you know, this, this stuff here, this kind of stuff here, this, this kind of stuff about the political prisoners of Thailand must be taken with a reserve. Uh, I do not believe in any kind of uh, websites that are anonymous. Uh, in fact, when it comes to the political prisoners of Thailand, okay, I, not of Thailand, but uh, political prisoners and such. Um... They're giving a false sense of security. They're giving a false sense to the people as there is somebody out there that is watching the whole thing. When in fact the real people are getting killed. We are getting killed. Because there is something out there that suggests, well, you know, it must not be so bad. There is somebody looking over somebody somewhere somehow. It's not. I would even take them down. To be honest with you, if you don't have no fucking name, if you got no name, you shouldn't be on the internet. You've seen my face. You know where my address is. You know my phone number. You know where I am. You were here many times. Bring it on. Bring it on. Is today's joke I'm going to end this video with because, as I stated at the beginning of the video, I am going to bring you on. And I am going to ask you to clarify me these issues in front of the world so that you're going to justify your rule of law against the world. Your rule of law at Thailand and in greater than Great Britain against the world. Thanks for watching this video. Not as always, but I wish you a great day indeed. Nice rest of the Saturday. What was this about this political prisoners in Thailand? One plus one is two. 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, and so it goes, so it goes. You think you're going to manufacture the so-called political prisoners to the degree they won't even matter anymore in this world. The difference between laissez majesté of Thailand and ethnic cleansing, genocide, extermination.
you're fucking wrong with it. 